Hi, my name is Norm Patra. I'm a licensed automotive technician and currently a professor of automotive at Cambridge College. But more importantly, I'm an avid snowmobiler. Um, some people might even say I'm a little hardcore when it comes to snowmobiles. Um, I've had a family member actually contact me this winter about his 07 Apex and his complaint was when the his snow machine was inside and it was warm, it would start, but as soon as he took it outside, and especially if it was cold, it would turn over slowly or not start at all. So he decided to bring it over so I can take a look at it. After some further diagnosis, I've noticed that it's going to need a battery replacement. So I started doing my research to find out which place I would purchase a battery for this. And I contacted the guys over at BRS Batteries in Chemisford Matt, very nice guy, very knowledgeable, told me that they were they just developed a new line of batteries exclusive from them for snowmobiles, ATVs, and any kind of recreational vehicles. And he also told me that they have an outstanding warranty that comes with these batteries. And he advised me to go take a look at their website to get some more information on exactly what these warranties entail. So that's what I did. I went to their website, I took a look. When I went to BRS Super Batteries website, the first thing I noticed is their website is actually very, very user friendly as compared to a lot of websites I've been on. Like if you go here, you can actually type in the make and model of everything that you're looking for. As you can see, they got motorcycles, ATVs, everything. So I'm going to choose snowmobile. I'm going to select a year. It's a 2007. The make, of course, we're gonna to go to Yamaha and it's an Apex and it selected the CCs. And once I press search, it basically came up with all their products they have related to the snowmobile. They have two products. They have, they're both exactly the same batteries. They're high performance batteries, sealed AGM power, power battery. But the difference is, is something that nobody I've ever, I've never seen before anywhere is this battery here has a 10 year warranty, which is unheard of when it comes to any type of recreational vehicle battery. I've never seen this before. And their lowest price battery has a two year warranty. From my research and everywhere I've gone, the most warranty you can get on a battery that you purchase is usually one year. So there, right there tells me that these guys are serious about uh, the quality of their battery, especially if they're giving out a 10 year warranty. Once you decide on which battery you would like, you just simply click on it and the website brings you right to your add a cart. And you don't even have to visit their store. You can get it sent, of course, directly to your home. And this battery comes fully charged and ready to install. Once the battery that I ordered from BRS arrived, one thing I noticed right away is the battery did not have to get filled with electrolyte. It was already done right there at BRS and has been tested uh, and charged before it was actually even sent out. Most times when you buy an aftermarket battery, you have to deal with all these instructions of installing the electrolyte and playing with the sulfuric acid. None of this has to be done because the battery's already come already ready to go, ready to install. And they even do some checks on it. This one's been tested. It, it ran 13.3 volts, March 7th of 20, uh, 2021, and it was inspected by MM. Another thing I decided to do at the same time, just because an Apex battery is quite difficult to reach or get at, is to buy this handy little maintenance charger that comes with it. This will allow me to actually plug in and charge the battery at any time. And I don't have to tear half of the snowmobile apart to actually get to the plug-in. I can locate this in a very convenient spot and I can do maintenance to the battery, which of course is gonna be required. Periodic charging of the battery is a great idea to keep its strength up and to make sure that it performs the way it does. Another thing I noticed when I opened the package is it comes with two different harnesses, depending on exactly what you wanna do. We can hard mount it so that it's permanently part of uh, the battery or we can if we have these convenient little battery clips if we don't want to add this wire 
we can use these clips to also attach to the battery to use the charger. So this is actually a feature I really like when it comes to this. So because of how difficult the battery is to get at this snowmobile, we're gonna use the hard wire type. So we're gonna install it with the eyelids, making sure that the red goes on the positive, of course, and the black goes on the negative. Another thing, if you do have these little tiny star washers, it's always recommended to put them on. They serve two purposes. They help make sure that the nut that goes on top of the battery does not get loose. But more importantly, the sharp edges make sure that they have a very good contact with the battery so that we can have some proper charging. So always reinstall these if you have them. Now that we're able to access the battery in this Apex, uh, we can simply just remove this little rubber strap that's holding the protective box on. And the battery forward, we're gonna remove the cover, expose the battery. One thing I'd like to remind everybody when you're dealing with a battery, battery doesn't matter if it's in your car or your ATV, any batteries, the theory is all the same. You should always remove the negative terminal first and install it last. This is because for safety reasons. If you are to take the positive off and you end up touching your wrench on the side where there's any metal, you're causing what's called a short to ground. This battery's got enough cranking abs that if you do touch the side of the metal, it could actually weld itself to the chassis and turn the wrench glowing red hot. Not just that, it could cause some electrical damage to any of the sensitive components that's part of the snowmobile, like the cluster or uh, some ignition components that are inside. So care must be taken when you're doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna loosen the negative terminal. We're gonna remove it first. Once that's been removed, if we so happen to touch the metal side, we don't have a continuous circuit here, so nothing will happen. It shouldn't spark or anything, but still, we're gonna exercise a little bit of care to make sure that we don't touch any other metal surface as we're removing the positive side of the battery. Once we have these removed, simply grab the battery, lift it out of place. And now we can replace it with our new battery. When I opened up the package for the battery smart charger, I started reading and I found out that this actually charger has also a rejuvenation feature. It actually has surcharge or overload protection, short circuit protection, reverse polarity and overheat. It's got all the right stuff when it comes to a maintenance charger to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. Um, there's no way we can connect this in reverse order. It's not gonna work or anything. It's got overheat protection and it's got the rejuvenation feature, which many chargers don't have. So I like this thing a lot, actually. It's very, it seems to be very convenient. Now we're gonna install the battery that we got from BRS. We're gonna simply put it in its place. I'm gonna move the nuts. We're gonna double check to make sure that we have the right sides. This is positive, of course. So we're gonna take our red lead. All right, so now we're gonna install our battery. We're not gonna, we're not gonna forget to put our maintenance charger on. We will go on. As you notice, I'm putting the positive terminal on first, of course. And before I put my other side on, I'm going to tighten it, making sure that my wrench doesn't hit the other side. And you only want to tighten this tight enough so that if you grab the terminal, you sh shouldn't be able to move it at all. You don't want to over tighten them because you can break these towers. So I want to make sure that you don't over tighten them. It's not necessary to be over tight, but tight enough so that the terminal doesn't move. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here.
And once again, just tight enough so that you can't move the turbo. Okay, so before we reassemble the whole thing, we might as well try it to see how it works. thing I did notice though since I put this battery in that it turns over a lot faster than it did with the previous battery that was in there so so far so good we'll reassemble it and the next thing is go for a ride try it out snowmobile season is now over we managed to put uh, a couple hundred kilometers and had a couple cold days minus 20 minus 29 with the wind chill factor and every time we asked of it it started flawlessly I'm really impressed and happy with the performance and uh, of the battery that we installed at this Apex. And um, I'll be, we'll be storing it shortly to sort of make sure that we make good use of that battery tender that we installed. I went into BRS Batteries the other day and I was amazed to see how many different styles of batteries they actually do sell. Not just recreational batteries, they have batteries for your house alarm, batteries for your solar system, you name it, they have it. So go and visit their website or call their guys over at uh, BRS at 705-855-0473 or visit their website at brs.com or their Facebook page.